the word belly, the phrase, and it's a strong, strong cable.
That's pretty much it. Probably just going to try. So Job 10. Uh, Job chapter 10 and 21. I'll start at 20. It says, Are not my days few? Cease then and let me alone, that I may take comfort a little. Before I go whence I shall not return, even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death. A land of darkness as darkness itself, and of the shadow of death. Yeah. That's what talks about on yeah. Psalm 23. Then it says, A land as darkness as darkness itself. So mm-hmm. America is the epitome, it's the pinnacle of all right. wickedness. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. It says, A land, uh, so I'll read it again, a land of darkness as darkness itself. And of the shadow of death without any order. <laughs> and where the light is as darkness. Right? So in the NLT it says, It is a land as dark as midnight, a land of gloom and confusion. Mm-hmm. So Babylon, what does it mean? Confusion. Babylon, sure. Right? Um, where even the light is as dark as midnight. Right? And the point is without any order. This place is without order or arrangement. Right? The, 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 the festival going on right now. That's without order. That's right. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure. I got a quick precept. Um, you know, yeah, so, listen, man, you, you people out there, <laughs> and the, the folks that are uh, caught on this video, simply put, right, um, we're, we're in prophecy right now in regards to this, but I'm going to show you people in history that this happened on a level, okay, and the fathers are back here again. So, um, I got uh, Genesis, I'm going to go right to the, to the point, Genesis, uh, the point is in the 13th verse. I'm going to read from the, the 10th verse. Sorry, the 11th verse to the 13th verse. It says, uh, Then Lot, right, chose them all a plain of Jordan. Right? If you know the story, you can go back and understand what's going on. Just before Sodom get destroyed, Sodom and Gomorrah get destroyed. Right? Proclamation was this. Right? So, right? so it says, Then Lot uh, chose them and all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east. And they separated themselves, the one uh, from the other, right? And here's the point going into it. Abram, okay, was called Abram at the time, Abram, right? Dwelled in the land of Canaan, <clears throat> and not dwelled in the cities of the plain. And what, is, what is Abram? Mm-hmm. What is the word Abram in the brothers? That's the Hebrew. Oh, Father Zalkin. Father Zalkin, Abram, right? And his name was changed to Abraham. Abraham. Which, what is Abraham? My father. father, 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 father no. And, and, and the Christians try to tie that in with themselves. Right. Right? Um, um, our birth all birth. nations shall be blessed in thee. And they have no understanding. You know, yeah. I was telling them, um, Ashar and Kazak, I was watching the brothers in Dallas on the Ashwamba last night. They were alive, and he had some two stupid Christians that do yeah. on there. They see it. They see it. They see it. Yeah, I see it. And at the end of it all, the whole argument was that uh, the Son of the Lord and then the Trinity. And then the yeah, the Trinity. They were and, up, and then they yeah. said, why are we reading uh, King James in English? Right. Right. It goes on to say, verse 12, uh, Abraham dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in, in the cities of the plain, right? pitched his tent towards Sodom. Alright, so here's the point now. And it says, uh, <clears throat> but the men of Sodom, right, and we know it's, uh, when we go back to the book of Revelation, in prophecy, it tells us uh, this place, America, or, hey, right where this thing is going on right now, right, this is a, uh, this place uh, is uh, an extension of what's yeah. going on over there. Yeah. Hey, they're, hey, they're taking it over, because when I was growing up, right, <laughs> Over there was the militant place. Now here's the militant place. Anyway, so it says, um, but the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before Yahweh Bashemi was shot exceedingly. Now I'm, I'm speaking specifically to you. Hey, you wicked Jakes. Okay, you wicked Jakes. Two thirds of you, right? And all of you people that support this, right? The Lord says you're wicked. That's right. Simply put, hey, special destruction is coming for you. That's right. Okay. But anyway, that's the point on that. So, hey, this was a, a, a prophecy when it happened. The history is being repeated, and the fathers of, of Yehovah Shimei Roshai, meaning his, his sons and daughters, are here again, proclaiming truth. Amen. Amen. Open, open. And Abraham's father, he was in, he was in the human state of mind. 
Yes, he was. So that, 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 that's like a precursor to the whole Gentile situation. Because in the book of Joshua, it says your, your father's blood on the other side of the river. Other blood, yeah, river. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And you worship idols. Yeah. You know, Abraham was pretty much like a child here. Right? His father, Terah, ter- ter- uh, pushed right? him out. So, so that goes into like uh, the main yeah. Gentiles and the Mosai bringing them out of that. Huh. Huh. Dealing with them. I got something real quick. This is, uh, this is uh, uh, Revelation 18 and 1. And it reads, um, And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great... It's fallen. It's fallen. And it's become the habitations of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And that's fulfilling concerning America because America's spiritually is full of unclean spirits right now. Uh, all kinds of hateful creatures. Which talking, about you, yeah, talking about you rebels, right? And you Babylonian citizens, you know, it's full of that. So it makes sense that after the destruction and America being wiped out, being a desert, that foul spirits and animals with these spirits on them are going to are gonna inhabit that place, because that's what that place was. And that's what that represents. So it says, verse 3, For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxing, are waxed rich. That's why you see in the, in the school systems, like, no, 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 what, what, that's what, what you see in these school it? systems, you know, they have lit, uh, children as young as uh, four years old, mm-hmm. and they're reading them books uh, about tra- uh, drag racers right. and, and, tra- and changing your plumbing mm-hmm. and confusing these children, man. <laughs> you know, and, and, that, and that, that's, that's part of their wine that, that they put up through the whole earth. That's right. Yeah, there's an article, CP24, brought out today that said uh, um, blue colors coming to Canada having their first pride group. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, and there's one guy who came from Iraq and he said, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I, I couldn't, uh, I had to hide my pride flag and my family. They, they would beat the shit out of me and they would abuse me. He said, I'm so happy and free. That's part of that one. Right? Mm-hmm. That's yeah, you know, you wow. come here, you just okay. let your freak out, you know? Yeah, that's the place to do it. Yeah. And that's the, that's the same thing that happened to Rome. At the climax of, of pleasure and luxury, God. it toppled. God. It was yeah. Yeah. Hey, beautiful point, man. Yeah. Fallen is the word there from yeah. from within. Yeah, the, the right. 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 right, right. And it it, it, it says because I, I read before it's exceedingly wicked, but yeah, this mm-hmm. it, this thing is is fallen. It, it's finished. That's what we're saying. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you can read between the lines, fallen. This system is finished, right? And and, and those books and all that stuff, man. That's what you people are about. Hey, this system is this system, this system is finished in its infrastructure, <laughs> mm-hmm. in its economy, in its people's morale. Mm-hmm. You know, in the workforce, every which way you're looking at it, this place is failing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a bunch of witchcraft here, like the brother was saying about regular people. How do regular people uh, practice witchcraft? You're you're idolaters. Mm-hmm. You worship idols. Psychics, yeah, yeah, visit psychics, readers, right? Yeah, there's even video games like one of which Harry Potter. Yeah. When it came out, I, I got read the, I read one book when I was younger, but when that game came out recently, a year ago, it was like a frenzy. When I was working at the gym, it was a frenzy. Everybody was talking about the Harry Potter game, the DVDs, they had the thing. But even through the video games, you're you're, you're indulging in the witchcraft. And they're movies, you push it. I remember watching Harry Potter as a child. Yeah. Those were big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Have committed fornication with her, and her merchants are uh, merchants of the earth are wax rich through, through the abundance of her delicacies. And I, and that's why you you, you Americans are 
uh, people are talking. You're, you're the greatest consuming nation mm -hmm. on planet Earth. Yep. And also, once you get, once you know, America gets destroyed, and, and those of you that are not the elect get destroyed with it, mm -hmm. these nations are going to be mourning because they'll be making a lot of money off of you. Mm -hmm. Lots of money. And it says, verse 4, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of earth, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive none of her plagues. And that's twofold, right? We're going to come out mentally by repenting, you know, from the lifestyle that you live before you were <coughs> privy to the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay? We're going to be translated exactly. in, our, right. in our new body, yep. you know, as a hopeful members of the elect, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to be able to live for a long time. Or, you know, Forever. Yeah, exactly, right. basically, right? Forever. We're going to be gods. Yeah, but we're not going to sin. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. That's yeah. how death came into the world. Mm -hmm. So verse 5, it says, For her sins have reached up to heaven, and Yahweh has remembered her iniquities. Mm -hmm. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works. In the cup which he hath filled, fill to her double. Mm -hmm. How much? Like how you were in the captivity, mm -hmm. or whatever. Basically, like uh, the curse is gonna fall on these Edomites and these other nations, but mainly Esau, and he's gonna have to. It's gonna be double, man. Right? <laughs> yeah. Which is amazing. Yeah. Well, it starts with it starts with Esau, but all you need is gonna feel just like Esau. Double. Too. Yeah. Because especially you Hamites. You Hamites are wicked as all hell. The you know? Wicked as all hell. Well, well, you can mention four well, times well. in um, Psalms 83. You know, it's called the nations. Right. The ball. Roll, and, roll call. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Roll call. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, now Esau's the nations. Oh, uh, Esau's first. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the nations have been living there. Deuteronomy 28, 1, uh, 4, 4, 15, yeah. 14. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. They've been, yeah. yeah living in you know, their, their heaven. Right? They've been seeing their, their children grow up and all. They've been planting, you know, having, having nice work, successful mm -hmm. what they do. All about nothing. You know, those fields are like not... Um, be looked at as a so-called minority. Minorities mean like a word of statement. Like, like, your mind is mighty, you're insignificant. Mm -hmm. Have you feeling that that word is a good word? Oh, this is a minority, which you're cursing yourself because the Bible says that Israel is a, is a, is a, is a sign of the sea. So it's contrary to what the Bible says. Yeah, it's a psychological thing. Yeah. 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 It tries to make you think you're small. Yeah. 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 I say especially in uh, America too because there's actually way more. They say it's like the population of so called black people in America is 13 percent, but it's way more than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says here, 
Um, so that, much, that's like in that look, luxurious lifestyle comes from Rome. Yeah, that's abundance, right? Is. That's why they had a god, a god, or a way, a way of life called abundant, abundant tear, which is where you get abundance from. Mm -hmm. Right? It's an excessive, lascivious lifestyle. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, yeah, abundant tear, right? Mm -hmm. It's actually like with a woman and mm -hmm. worship it. <coughs> right? And that's the same lifestyle here, man. Mm -hmm. So much super size every day. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll finish it up, and it says, So much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit as a queen. So that means all, you know, starting from the top American, if you, if you like, to the bottom American, you all think this, right? Okay? If you're not the elect. And am, 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 am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Last verse. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Mm -hmm. Death, and mourning, and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire, mm -hmm. for strong is the Lord Yahweh, Bashem Yachad, who judges her. So you're not going to win that war. I know you guys, you know, you pop police are plan, you know, you're fight against the Abishad and your angels, but you're not going to win the war because the strongest man that's coming to destroy this place. And this trends come from the Creator, which is almost high. Go ahead, Ashad. Yeah, this is uh, Jeremiah 9 13, NLT. It reads, Glory, however, replies, this has, this has happened because my people have abandoned my instructions. They have refused to obey what I say. Verse 14, instead they have stubbornly followed their own desires and worshipped the, the image of Baal and their own it's like it. the image of Baal as their ancestors taught them. And this is what they do right now. They're worshipping, you know, this wicked um, the rainbow. Because according to them, it's, it's, it's a righteous thing, but Israel turning on itself down. You make it look like it's a good thing. That's right. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's a pledge. Promise. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they, uh, with that rainbow, from when this thing started, I'm talking about when I saw it here in the 70s, uh, they didn't have all the color, all they had was red, green, and gold. Right? You started so they never uh, had that back yeah. in the 70s, yeah? No. They only had red, they only had red, green, and gold. They used to push the Rasta colors, right? Yeah, because of the of their, uh, your Jamaicans. Yeah. They came to well, migrating right, right. The Rastas used to complain about it, and they started to add different colors to it. But they don't have the, uh, 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 the biblical colors. But they're trying to add to that, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why we we, we go against you uh, two thirds of you wicked, exceedingly wicked people because mm -hmm. you're contaminating what the Most High has already set up. But guess what? You're not allowed to put all the colors, even though you're trying to do it. You're bound, but you're still wicked. That, yeah. That's funny. Well, most of these people. Are down there right now is the southern and northern kingdom. Mm. A lot of yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, a lot of southern kingdom. Yeah. And that's yeah. why the scriptures say, how do, how have you become a degenerate plan? I'm going to bring a yeah. reset by the degenerate plan. Yeah. 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 Again, I have a, a script on Deuteronomy, sorry, Second Peter 3 and 2. And spared no, not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. So Noah, he was out there prophesying, all right, uh, during uh, the sons of God, all that, during that whole time, right? Yep. Which Noah, were Israelites. Noah, yeah, he was prophesying to the sons of God. Which were Israelites. That to, uh, that to repent and, and, and basically like turn away from their wickedness. All right? And they looked at Noah like he's a madman, he's crazy. Yep. All right? But he, but the Most High told Noah to go build that ark. Right. All right, and he was, while he's building, he was preaching to them, right. and they thought he's crazy. Cause I never rained back then. Exactly, and that's the yeah. main point. Is that when <laughs> Amos three and seven says, "I will uh, share my secrets," roughly paraphrasing, with my servants and prophets, the prophets were told things that were hard, were extremely hard to believe, and a lot of the times there were things that had never happened before. Like you said, with Noah, what he was told has never happened before. So of course. He was going to get opposition. So a lot of you new believers don't don't get like the scriptures say, um, think him not strange. Apply that not just to your suffering, but to how people act. And it took about a century to do exactly. Yeah. That was the time where people were just looking at 
taken out of like 10 years old by 20 years. 50. That's right. Right. Two generations down the line looking at this guy like he's a bug I was still talking about the same thing. The most I he flooded the whole earth. And the Lord <coughs> saved uh, Noah and his sons and their wives, right? Mm-hmm. Only eight people lived. And uh, basically, it was a reset. It's going to happen again. There's going to be a reset in America. And uh, like wherever the two thirds are, you know, certain parts of the world is going to be affected by the nuclear radiation, the smoke. So some people are going to die. You know, a lot of people. Are yeah, a lot of people. Billions. Uh, you know? that, was, that was like back then. Those, those eight. Yeah. Right. So that, you know, that nice old lady that makes us cake. You know, you can all the you know, not, not her, that little baby. You know, we all, we all, you know, bring a lot of pop and stuff. The most I deal with it, man. Right? The most I had a specific number, right? which is a one third, and everybody else is to help with you. Right? And turn the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live on God. And you have, you have scoffers today, you know, they're, they're, they're hearing this message. And, and, and the men of the Lord are prophesying of missiles and a lake of fire and a destruction to America. Yeah, Just like uh, uh, our forefather Noah, you know, he was being scoffed at because it never rained. Right. You know, these people haven't seen missiles fly. Exactly. Uh, I'm not magnitude. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah. And, and deliberate just luck vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. So Lot was a righteous. He was Abraham's nephew and he was vexed, man. Mm-hmm. Right? Living in in Sodom, or he was vexed, man. Mm-hmm. You know? And he never prayed for. Him. He, yeah, he never. He never prayed for that. Yeah. Scripture mentions he prayed for. That goes into what he was asking about. Yeah, There's five men, fifteen. Because right? yeah. yeah. even right now, where like wherever Jacobs are in America and Canada, a lot of our people is, is is celebrating this whole alternative lifestyle, man. Mm-hmm. And they're both out like Atlanta, in America, Atlanta, New York. Certain uh, st- certain um, cities where Jake can have it, man. Uh, there's a whole bunch of dykes and shit, man. Yeah. Butch and butchers, <laughs> or butchers, or whatever they call it. So the word, the word you use alternative yeah. just means the next best thing, as in an alternative route. Okay. So you got ask me, so how is two men together the next best thing? You should not surely die. Right. You should not surely die. Good, good. You know, he's trying to say you're, you're right. That's a good point. It's this. Alternative lifestyle, this is the next best thing. Mm-hmm. But when you do your research, it isn't. Mm-hmm. So it's just the same thing the serpent said to Eve and Adam, you, you should not surely die. Well, you're going to, you just might not be right away, but you're going to die. Okay. Okay. Alternate, alternate just means going in a circle. Like I'm alternate. Yeah, like if you're here, then you go here, then you go here, then you come back here. Mm-hmm. That's out of order, bro. Yeah. If you're a male, you have certain responsibilities and duties. Same thing if you're a female. Right, and now they have cis, cis, what they call me, different people. Yeah, words, man. And delivered thus God, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, for the righteous man dwelling among them. Wait, well, you think they think it was the old ladies back then? The yeah. old men? Right, right. The walking sticks? Right. You know? mm-hmm. Indulge in that. So same kind of thing that happened. It's the same now what happened, but Lord said, you know, on the lives of his family, you know? And his wife, you know, she probably was acting all righteous, you know? Mm-hmm. And then it shows shows her up, and, and, and when 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 she the friend showed her who she, who she really was, she really yeah, was. Yeah, that's even like guys who was who like won the church, like guy like T D Jakes, right? But she's a a flamer, right? <laughs> you know, for the righteous man dwell among them, and seeing and hearing, that's his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth. So, so it said, sorry, sorry to interrupt there, but it says unlawful deeds, so that's, you know, plural, right? So that's many deeds. So Sodom and Gomorrah is not just about sodomy. There was a lot of rape, robbery, murder, a lot of crime, you know, crime infested. So pretty much Sodom and Gomorrah was really a broken city, just like Babylon the Great is today. And for you to get to the point where you make sodomy legal, it shows you were doing all those wicked things beforehand. You know? Because that's what it gets, you know, you're a drink, you know, when you get to the end of your society... Then you start to see a lot of sodomy, you start, you, you start to see a lot of pedophilia. So you know they are a bunch of murderers, man. Killers. Yeah. You know, they like to shed innocent blood. Yeah. And that's how this land is <laughs> You just keep, you keep going to more extreme things. Mm-hmm. When you have, like, when you have the roles of, when you have male and female confused or blurred, mm-hmm. you know, that's what you're going to get. You know, when you have male and female confused or blurred, 
that is the fundamental basic understanding of life, whether you are a man or a woman. Yeah, pretty much they, they, they destroy the family, the concept of the exactly. family. Exactly, yeah. Family. yeah. The Lord Lord ought to deliver the godly out of temptation and to preserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished, but chiefly them that which but chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust and un uncleanliness, which is like that's what they're doing. They're doing like the whole naked bike ride, and, mm -hmm. and they're naked right there, <laughs> down there right, right now. Oh, yeah. And despise government. It said, presumptuous are they, self will They are not afraid to speak evil of, den of dignities. That's pretty much it. I got something. Uh, this is Genesis chapter 19, uh, verse 1. Uh, it says, uh, The doom of Sodom. And there came two angels to Sodom and Eden, and Lot sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lot seeing them rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself. And the two his angels face. wanted nothing in the southern tribe, present day. It's a spiritual thing. They have, they have, they have leave, I mean, uh, southern tribes and the southern tribes come together. The, the, the breach is now being, is, is, is now, the way is being removed. So we're speaking against this, this, um, this Babylonian great present day. And he bowed himself with his face toward the ground, and he said, Behold now, my lords, turn in, pray you into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and you shall rise up early, and go on your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned him unto him, and entered into his house, and he made them a feast, and did bake another bread. And they did eat. But before they laid down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round about, sorry, round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. So I just want to bring this out quickly because, um, you know, pretty much you living in a righteous manner makes you a target to these people out here as well. And I just wanted to go back to an example. I remember. Um, this is like when the Pride Parade era got really big, and I think that was back in like around 2010. Like it got really, really big and popular. A lot of people started coming in, and I remember we went out on that day, and um, it was a whole horde of sodomites coming towards our camp while we were prophesying. We didn't know that it was going to be like that, but we actually were a target because of that, because of what we were doing. We were teaching the word, right? So that's another thing, you know, brothers. Um, you know, even though it's prophecy, you're opened up to a lot of things that are going to happen in the future. You living in a righteous manner is going to make you a target to these people. Mm -hmm. So you're going to you're going to go through a lot of things. Expect to fight. Expect trials. Right, and that's exactly what Lot went through because he brought in these righteous angels that were there to bring him a message. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they came to him is because he was righteous. So these people, they're miserable. And they're looking at you like, why, why isn't he partaking in what we're partaking in? Exactly. You see, this right here is a holy conversation. We're not out here. We're not out there. Right? We don't want to be out there. Man, fuck those people. Right? Because this place is, gonna, this place is getting ready to burn. Right? So that's the message that we're bringing forth today, you know, through the Spirit. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah, uh, real quick. Beautiful point. No, beautiful point. Because the dignitaries are us. That the Lord set up. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I always like this. You mentioned that this is 1 Peter 4 and, uh, and verse 3 in the NLT. It says, You have had enough in the past of the evil things that godless people enjoy <laughs> their immorality and lust, their feasting and drunkenness, and wild parties, <laughs> and their terrible. And their terrible worship of idols. Mm -hmm. Of course, your former friends are surprised when you no longer plunge into the flood of wild and destructive <laughs> things <laughs> they do. So they slander you. Mm -hmm. right? you remember that they will have to face the most high, who will judge everyone, both the living and the dead. Yes, the NLT. Yes, the NLT. And then what you said about the. Um, the angels went in and living uh, bread. Yeah. And that's what's happening right now. Is the end of the bread that we're we're partaking of. Yeah. Right. So the same things happening again. That happened in Sodom. Same thing happening now. We're the angels, the messenger of the Lord, are partaking of the bread that we're eating. That's right. Okay. 
Hold on, very quick. Let me finish this because this, this strikes a nail here. Verse 6, that is why the good news was preached to those who are now dead. So although they were destined to die like all people, they now live forever with the most high in the spirit. Mm -hmm. But they were destined to, to just be like regular jinx, doing what they do, right? Sin against the most high. Verse 7, the end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other. For love covers a multitude of sins. Uh, just, just going back here, uh, Genesis 19, uh, verse uh, verse 5, it says, And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Remember, these are both young men, young men, old men. So these are all these are all different types of men of different types of ages, and that's what you're seeing out there. A lot of sodomites. You got old sodomites. You got young sodomites, and you got even little children. Yeah, you know what's happening too in the black, so-called the, the the Caribbean community in uh, Canada. They're pushing that whole uh, the dance hall, right? There's a, a lot of the guys who's, uh, who who go both ways, right. and, they're, and, and, they, and a lot of people is catching aim. taking sodomy, that's another man's oil coming on, a, on you, yep. and then now if your woman goes on that, that man goes on that too, and yep. I remember, a lot of you lesbians, you're, you're catching you're catching HIV because of that, oh, right? So even though two lesbians, they're rubbing up against each other, that oil is still being passed. So that's fluid, not being in a controlled environment. Right. So only one man is supposed to sleep with multiple women, and he's supposed to have those women for his own. Okay. So that's why you people are getting getting AIDS, you're getting the clap, you all this stuff. Quit this, right? Yeah. 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 Just uh, going to finish up here, and it says, "Behold, now I have two daughters which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out unto you, and do you to them as good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing, for therefore came they under the shadow of my roof, and taking a lot of heat, you know, taking a lot of heat for those righteous men that came, which were really angels, you know. So he could have lost his life. He could, his house could have got burned down to the ground." Because you know these sodomites, they're very violent and vicious. And never forget that account. Back in uh, 2010, those people were fucking violent. They wanted to kill us, man. Mm -hmm. But really the Lord, he, he had his angels in front of us. And then they just left. You know, so they're very violent. These people are not happy. They're very violent, <laughs> man. They are. Twenty and thirteen and fourteen. If a man practices homosexuality 
have sex with another man as well as a woman, both of them have committed and both of them have committed a detestable act. Right. They must be put to death for they had, are guilty of a capital offense. A capital, so capital offense would be you be put to death. Mm -hmm. If age more be even be even a cap, a capital offense, you put to death right away. Mm -hmm. Right? So and you know we're just measures. We're telling you the most high thing. About you and your lifestyle. So the most I says the capital offense, the capital, the capital offense with death. That's what Because there's nothing that he could do for you. You're sick. 
A lot of people are sick and delusional. They try to use the witchcraft to counteract the witchcraft. You can't. You know, that's the word um, the word in the double up. It's in the Greek for logos. It means desperate reasons. Right? Contrary to reason, absurd. Right, so you, can't, you can't talk to a lot of people. No. You say destitute of reason? That's, that's a destitute of reason. Contrary to reason, absurd. How much people like that come up to the camp? Irrational. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Right, and he talk, he's talking about a brother uh, gave him a string. And then put it in him? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah,
having eyes full of adultery and cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable, beguiling unstable souls and, and hearts. Okay, because when you're feeding the demon, right, just like when, when uh, most people eat, the elders, the brothers who do the nutrition all the day, so they see that, like, oh yeah, you guys are eating empty empty calories, but you're feeding the, the worm. Right, but right. The worm right, inside you is a damn demon. Right, you're always feeding and feeding and feeding. You're not feeding yourself. Right. 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 You're feeding that, 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 that worm. Yeah. That's why you see people so get so fat. Right? <laughs> they got that, uh, what do you call it, obesity? Yeah. They're yeah. really but, just feeding, yeah. They're really just feeding uh, like the demon. Yeah. Yeah. It's all yeah. because it's yeah. all yeah. control. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, sure. Even if you, because I watch certain things, yeah. and you'll see them, and they're just eating. Yeah, yeah. And you can like tell them. Like, yeah, so they're just there. Yeah, it's an activity. Yeah. It's an activity. Yeah. It's an activity. Yeah. 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 yeah, they're just gorgeous. You can't help it. And it says, unstable <laughs> souls yeah. and heart, yeah. and heart, <laughs> and heart, they have exercised. So this is something, this is not just something that's just jumped on them. They were exercising it. They were exercising the demon. Um, exercise with covetous practices. And he saw knows that, man. Covetous practices. Right? They'll say, obey your hunger, obey your thirst. Right? <laughs> yeah, the, the sprite. It's sprite. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. food to die for. <laughs> yeah. food. You know, to die for. Yeah. Yeah. I, thought, I thought food was to live. Right, right, right. right. Why is it to die? Even, right. with their, even with their commercials, mm -hmm. their commercial makes you want what somebody else has, mm -hmm. right? Because then they'll do the commercial to where there's a guy in a nice car, and then it'll just be like, yeah, yeah. come on, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> think about it. Yeah. 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 That's what they call carjacking. Yeah. 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 Preach them, sin fool. And hard that exercise covetous practices curse children which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray following the way of uh, Baal mm -hmm. and son of Beor. And that's why we go into these things because at the end of the day, everyone's going to come and ask us why we believe what we believe. Right? And to be honest, that's a logical question. Because there's so many different belief systems, right? Like, you can Google how much churches there are in the world. There's <laughs> hundreds of thousands. So, they could be like, okay, here we go again. Right. Right. So, we need to understand where certain things go back to. That's right. And that's what the brother just read. Right? Who loved the wages of unrighteousness, but was rebuked for his iniquity. The dumbass speaking. Mm -hmm. Yes, the yeah, dumbass. And, and we, we can we can go back to a man. Mm -hmm. right? That's why the Bible is so important because we have instances, right? We have history where we can say, let's start from there. Mm -hmm. the, the Tower of Babel is a focal point in life. The flood is a focal point in life, history, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the brothers were mentioning Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. These things are focal points in history to say, okay, let's stop there. Let's figure out what was still happening. Let's see what they did. Oh, that's what they did wrong. And at that time, they were worshiping man. Yeah. It just happened to be Nimrod, um, Simiramis, right. right? So they were, they were worshiping man. <laughs> they, they had women as goddesses, right? So yeah. it's just like, okay, now I understand. But that happened before the flood as well. Right. They just carried that pre flood knowledge. Exactly. 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 <laughs> That's all they did. And right. all these belief systems grew. That's right. When the Most High um, separated us, yeah. all those things just expanded. Yeah, kind of and look, now we're here. That's so right. people are like, how do you guys know you're telling the truth? Because we're going back to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Father. Right. We're no longer going back to any religion. We're getting out of religion. All religions are corrupt. Exactly. First, first we believed and we went and found out. You know, we said, My life, for lack of knowledge. Of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So because Esau so settled with it, he removed knowledge from it, and then now we destroyed it. Yeah. 
right? So when you search all the knowledge now, based on the belief, and someone said, I believe Jesus Christ was the Lord, right. now I don't believe it anymore. Right, right. Now we know that it's the hour shot. And it says, I'll finish it up. And it says, then it says, the dumbass speaking with man's voice for 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 bad the madness of the prophets. Hey, this is Revelation 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth mm -hmm. and that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein True. for the times at hand. Yeah. Yeah. And reading is um, synonymous with understanding. When you read something, you don't understand what you read, you read it, you read it. You know what I mean? You have to read it and understand it. That's what I'm saying. It kind of is the spirit. say this because a lot of people are just like, oh, there was knowledge before the Bible. Yeah, you guys are right, but <laughs> that was the, the, Bible. the Bible means nothing. We had words before we had a book, mm -hmm. right? So yes, you guys can disregard the book, but the word, the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding that the Most High set for this earth has been around from the beginning. Right. <laughs> and the words in that book are the words we were speaking before the book. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right on playing tables. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Hey, 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 Abel knew to bring a, a righteous sacrifice. That's right, brother. Right. That's right. It says, And immediately thou appointest death in him and in his generation, of whom came nations, tribes, people, and kindreds out of number. And every people walked after their own will, and did wonderful things before thee, and despised thy commandments. Who is thou will? Who is thou will? Right. 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 That's, that's Jacob. You know, and all these nations, yeah. right? They walk after the imaginations of their heart. And even even their tattoo, only God can judge me, is that as well. Right. That's who is thou will energy as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right? When you, tell, uh, when you tell a man, you can't check me, that doesn't right. make any sense. Because somebody can look out for your soul. Somebody can look out for your best interest. Yeah. So right. to say only God can judge me mm -hmm. means that you're not willing to, to take correction. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because who is that God? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and on top of that, with Christianity, they always, you know, they use God and Jesus. It's a different deeds. Mm -hmm. God is too bad. You can be your own God. Right? That's why you say, Lord, uh, God knows my heart. Mm -hmm. So you're your own God then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you say only God can judge me, you really, like you said, you're, you're, trying not, you're not trying to take correction from no one. Mm -hmm. You're your own God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be a street idolater. It says in verse 8, And every people walked after their own will and did wonderful things before thee and despised thy commandments. And again, in process of time, thou broughtest the flood upon those that dwelt in the world, and destroyest them. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass in every, it's like, and it came to pass in every of them, that as death was to Adam, so was the flood to thee. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, one of them thou leftest, namely Noah, with his household, of whom came all righteous men. Right. And it happened that when they had dwelt upon the earth, it's like, and it happened that when they that dwelt upon the earth began to multiply and had gotten them many children and were great people, they began to be more ungodly than the first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So, that's why you have that guy on Paul Shore, he's saying that he seems only transgender, and he went, oh, I don't know my brother's posted it, and then, uh, the what? He posted, he posted um, on Paul Shore, he says he was transgender, and a fake vagina. And it feels better than the real one, so he's now he's done with, with, with women. With women. Yeah, he's one oh, fake. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one show actor? Probably sure, the, the, the actor, yeah. Oh. I think the one posted today. Okay. It says, verse 13, finishing up. Now, when they had lived so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee a man from among them whose name was Abraham. Him thou lovest, and unto him only thou showest thy will. See, so that wasn't a book, that wasn't that wasn't a manuscript, that was, that was verbal, that was in the spirit. And and made us an everlasting covenant with him, promising him that thou wouldest never forsake 
is seed. That's right. And unto him, Rhesus. That's right. And unto him thou gavest Isaac. And unto Isaac also thou gavest Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob, thou didst choose him to thee, and put by Esau. Rhesus. And so Jacob became a great multitude. That was it. And then you want us to be here for another 50 years in this place? Come on, man. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Christians read that and then, and then understand it's seed and seeds. Mm -hmm. right? So this is what we see. It's yeah. a seed with no X. <laughs> you know? That's the seed that read it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand the words. <laughs> but, when, but when you read it, you just read it, it went from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob and Esau, and they said, put by Esau. But he didn't even mention Ishmael. He didn't mention the six sons by Keturah. Mm -hmm. Right? He didn't, he, you know? Like, you know, it just went straight, but that was Abraham's seed too. Right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, so, Mark 14 and 4, it says, He that gathered by defrauding his own soul, gathered for others. Mm -hmm. That just spent his good righteously. So, when you go in the word righteously, it goes into, uh, it has a synonym, a synonym? Synonym? Yeah, Extravagant. Yeah, synonyms with the word extravagant. Extravagant goes into, uh, says recklessly wasteful right so we're talking about like men that uh, are I guess obese eat a lot or men that spend a lot of money we're talking about yeah that's just excess like the pride mm -hmm. those guys right they don't they don't love themselves they actually hate themselves we we're talking about that right mm -hmm. uh, it says he that is evil to himself to whom will he be good <laughs> Ooh. he shall not take pleasure in his in his good so yeah, he stops spraying the, the chemtrails that's evil to himself. Oh, that's Esau. That's Esau. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Esau. You know? Yeah. Oh, of course he hates himself. Putting putting defecation in the in the water mm -hmm. yeah. and bleaching it and having to drink it. Yeah. Yeah. And if they try not to drink it, they see I'll take a shower in it. Yeah. It's no way out. And your skin absorbs it the same way. Yeah, right? right? It's the largest organ. Yeah. 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 It says verse six, there is none worse than he that envieth himself. Mm -hmm. This is a recompense of his wickedness. Yeah, and that's someone, that's someone who envied himself. You know, that's like that's, that's a deep thought. That's a deep thought. Whoever wrote that, that's a deep thought. Someone who envied himself is someone who, like, it's like Esau, really. Because Esau knows he was created to be destroyed. When he goes through the scriptures, he knows that he was created to be respected. So, like, him, him, you know, not accepting his lot is what makes me even more wicked. Maybe it's something like a self hate, the self hatred. You yeah, know, you yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Self hatred is going towards happening now and then. So a pride month. Yeah. Because you hate the fact uh, you hate the re uh, appropriate. You, you gotta, you're bringing back you. Yeah. And what you're doing is against life and living. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're against order. Because uh, you were brought back a certain way. Let's say you hate yourself because of particular things. But you were brought back that way. So is the most high making a mistake, yeah. or are you in the right? You know what I mean? Which one is yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> it? You have to accept the most high brought you back this way for certain reasons. But mm -hmm. if you were, that's what we got. We were privy to the truth. Mm -hmm. Why the most high brought us back, why certain things are going on in our lives, why babies are born all you know deframed and broken and whatever, is because the spirit in that body is living out judgment. Mm -hmm. And that's something that you guys don't understand. Yeah. It says verse 7, and if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. Yeah, most I made him do it, eh? Yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of. yeah. Actually, like printing a Bible, like if make a print, print, uh, a printer to make Bibles, then take a Bible. Yeah, yeah. 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 the internet. Good. The water. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, real quick, because you brought up when you were reading as well the word blemish. Right? And it's here. Um, real quick, I just I, I, I got it because everything that was just broken down, just in case you dummies fall asleep up there, right? That will see this video. Right? The people know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the men and women that follow the spirit and truth. It says, disparge in the word uh, blemish, dishonor, impair, and impair uh, uh, morally, right? Damage or spoil. So in, in the spirit, we can see that, and we can also see uh, the identifying marks, man. So there's nothing that you can tell us. This place is finished. That's right. right. And you people that keep doing that, you keep talking a good game, yeah. do your shit. Right? 
Yeah, and so colonization kind of scripture say to be unspotted from the world. So the, the, those things are blemish. The, the blemish is really things in the world that are seeking into your soul, into your spirit, yeah. and when they're playing out. You know, so now you're 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 blemished, you're spotted. You know, we we all are, but at the same time we aren't because you know some of us, if not more willing, all of us are being left. But we hope that you know we're of that cleansed soul, blah mm-hmm. blah. But if things in the world are seeping into your life and they're playing out, you gotta put a stop to that. That's a spot on your soul. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some some of Israel got grape juice stain on the garment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> Still on you got kind of kind This is um Psalms 150, um, verse 6. It reads that everything that has breath praise the Lord. And that breath, you know, to the, to the, to the average ear is a carnal ear, the thing that means like a Moabite, you know, or Ishmaelite can praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. But that breath is going to the, 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 the um, uh, wisdom um, uh, 725 that was right. said that, that breath is wisdom. Right. right? 724. Not 725. Right? It, 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 that breath is wisdom. So everyone that has wisdom, understanding, praise the Abashim and Shai. That's why there's a, there's a meeting every Saturday. Sunday, some of them go whenever they can to push this word forth. It's a vibration, right? That heralds the Lord the Al Bashim Arshai and his return. That's right. Right? But you can't you can't you can't live without breathing. That's right. That's right. right. And the only the most high talking the most high perspective perspective. Um, if you're not breathing his breath, then you're not living. To him you're dead. Mm-hmm. You know? But, uh, um, but that's that's what I understand. This is wisdom, this wisdom of Solomon 12 and 1. For thine incorruptible spirit is in all things. Therefore, chasten them thou. Them. So that means there's no help. If the most have incorruptible, incorrupt, incorrupt, out of corruption, all right, his spirit is in all flesh. Why? Because IUIC or IUSPK, whatever, they had a Christian roll up, and the man was saying that. Your soul is going to burn. Your soul is going to burn. That's what he said. But the scriptures say that the minister, the spirits are ministering to fires. How can your soul burn if it's... If it's like, burn. Exactly. Fire, fire burning fire. Come on, man. <laughs> you know, so there's no such thing as hell. It makes logical sense that you live a life here, you die, and you go up and see judgment. You see a judge. Okay. You, know, you live your life out like this. You know, 40% of it was righteous. Wicked, and this is why you're gonna live your next life like that. That makes straightforward sense. If you guys want to go into some mythical idea of hell and all that, because you're the same spirit that worships those false gods back mm-hmm. then. That's right. It really that's like a money making scheme. That, that ideology, mm-hmm. right? So if I, 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 I see is pushing that, then they really just want money from their congregation. You know? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, because because we can we have the power to forgive you. Come on. Right. Therefore, chasten thou them by little and little that offend, and warns them by putting them in remembrance wherein they have offended, that leaving their wickedness they may believe on thee, O Lord. For that's the elect. You know, you're going through where you, you believers, all of us, you believe up there, you're going through where you're going through, it's because the Most High doesn't want to put you in the same club as these heathens. These evenings, the most high is casting little by little so you know, okay, you, you can't go here, you can't go there, you can't do this, you can't do that. So that you're literally on a straight path, straight path. Narrow. Boy, so I want this scripture ties in with what this brother just read. Because at the end of the day, how do you show the most high love? By keeping his word. Mm-hmm. Right? By keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Mm-hmm. Right? So that's how they tie in together. So if anybody wants to know, I'm pleased the most high. It's what this brother just read, but I'm pleasing by keeping the law of the commandments. Yeah. That's all he literally asks for. Yeah. He doesn't really ask for much. Right? That's true. He gives so much, but he really asks for little. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For it was thy will to restore it by the hand of our, fa- our fathers, by both those old inhabitants of the Holy Land, whom thou hatest for doing the moon all these works of witchcraft and wicked sacrifices. And the merciless murders of children. Right, which is actually what to do in the Bohemian 
option as to what meat it was. Uh, yeah. And the third option was human meat. Yeah. And then they like everybody obviously picked everything outside of human meat. And the man said, Well, no one actually submitted human meat right now. And they're all like gagging and like, what the fuck is this real? Da, 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 this and the third. So these practices are coming right down to your doorstep. That's what I'm saying. Your neighbor to eat human meat. Like, what's the difference if you like your steak hot, hot? You like blood, you like it to be flipping the camera for two seconds, yeah. and then you eat it with all the blood gushing out of your mouth and shit. Of course, you eat it. You know what I mean? I, if your neighbor likes raw meat, trust me, they're most likely into human meat. Yeah, you said a beautiful point, brother. If uh, you guys made this at home, man, you've been set up, right? It's building up to that point. This place is exceeding wicked on every level, man. Every, it's, it's crazy. But yeah, you, you, you. It's just like they got they got ordered fetus cells, right? Legally, if you look at that ingredient, it's ordered fetus cells. So, remember when we were younger, we used to see like, um, like American, American, like uh, people with like funeral, mm -hmm. like, you don't see them no more. Yeah. And also, you don't see no more, no more no funeral homes, you know, being busy, people are dying. So they're saying, well, what's, what's happening with the bodies now? Yeah, where are they going? <laughs> where, you know, where are they going? Where are they going? Well, there's a way to sometimes some funeral going, yeah. and sometimes, yeah. you know, unless yeah. you're going to see the most funerals all the time. Yeah, yeah. all the time. Yeah. 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 Not no more. Yeah. 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 No, no more. It's like if you may add also, going to the obvious acts, like some of the things that this happens too, like they drink cow's blood, like, you know, that thing. Actually, like a stick that they poke a hole into a cow, and they bring the blood out of the cows. So it's like uh, they, they do this, this thing called that like, female traditions, actually, it's similar with the old women. Just some of the audience, audience acts that these hammers do. They do these other acts. And if you think about the word ham, it means like, it means hard to wear. You know, like, that's the same way like Sodom. Sodom means to wear. Oh, they both tied oh. together. Even in their lust. Like, like, they're lust. Can you imagine a one week old baby? You throw it in the fire, you hear that scream. That's, 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 that's the holiest word. That's the 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 word. That's why, that's why the Lord said, go to the land, destroy their idols, destroy their altars, burn everything, everything, don't take anything, burn it. Yeah, but what I was going to say, those people, they, they're so in a trance into that belief system that they, they literally go into like a place, whatever that thing is. Just like when you go to church and you see them doing the current dreams, that's what those people do. Right? Like they're high off drugs and they don't do that. So they're like, these people are with you, man. Like, yeah. Same thing with the, the guys in Jamaica. They were, they were drinking... Um, you talking about the Smiths, right? Uh, they were drinking that bottle of food, I think they were putting dead bodies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bottle yeah. of food. Bottle yeah. of yeah. food. Yeah. They would get high and then go to yeah, right. um, In Africa, they, they grind up bones, yeah. dead bones, yeah. they smoke the bones. Yeah. 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 Remember Lord of Water? And then, and, and then go do their yeah, their yeah. by themselves. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking crazy. Man. When yeah. they're priests, brown, brown, we call it brown, brown. yeah. <laughs> when they're priests, all of the mid mid of the their adulterous crew mm -hmm. and the parents that killed with their mm -hmm. own hands, mm -hmm. sold them to help their children. Mm -hmm. That the land which thou esteemest mm -hmm. above all might receive the worthy colony of God's children. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. And it's so crazy because everything that we do, you can see that it's uh, it's righteous or it has righteousness. There's been proven to be righteous. Circumcision of the man, of the child, it's righteous. Uh, especially for a, a man, especially if you ever if you ever had the skin on before, and you know the skin used to get under the skin used to get dirty, a lot of infections. It could risk you know, irritated, right? Yeah. A lot of things could happen. Smell, yeah. You can get, get cancer too. There you go. Wow. Right, so our practices. Oh, that time was oh, uh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Kind of being mm -hmm. testicular or some shit. But yeah, yeah. With their works, there's no benefit to their works. What's the benefit of sacrificing a child? Because you sacrifice the child to try to appease the most high for rain. Because the majority of these sacrifices. Are done to to in, in hope of good crops. Right, money crops. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
So all these things, that, that's not how you please the Most High. Because right. the Most High says the blood defiles the land, right? That's right. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why the Lord said that when you go among these heathens, you got to teach them how to worship me. Because only you guys know how to do it. These heathens are worshiping all kinds of different gods. Right. Right. That's why all our laws say that you have to worship the Most High. Right. Because that's what the Most High says. That's why our law system is going to be set up. And our law system is going to come with punishments, man. It's not, that's why the church system is not how we're going to set it up. We're going to set up our, our, our law like a court. Right. People are going to come before us, and we're going to judge you. Right. you know, so, I forgive you. Yeah. It's okay. Go, go. No, no, no. He did what? Right. Kill him. Yeah. He said, did what? Right. Right. Off with his head. He said, right. tell you go community hours. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Work it off. Right. Oh, 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 you just raped a little boy? That's okay. Six months. Well, just, just sign up for a registry. You're okay. Go back out in the world. What? Yeah. Find the neighbors. You have to go door to door. Yeah. You know, the people, that, and that's why people are going to praise the Hawa Shinya Washai because a lot of you Edomites and Hebrews are complaining now. Right? I see this Edomite who went to court. A woman he just met, maybe like six months ago, he married her. She wow. only had two kids, none by him. She ended up taking his house, <laughs> right? He paid for everything by himself. Now she has his house. She has a new man. Oh, like man. things like that won't happen in the kingdom, right? Yeah, so I people are gonna bitch that died in four mills. Uh, you go to judge, <laughs> judge, <laughs> judge, <laughs> judge, <laughs> judge, <laughs> box. Yeah. Right? He was that guy. And he said you have to buy me new clothes for my new day. Come. Right. For my new day, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 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 He burned her yeah. and he took the car. Good. I'm like, those things. That's judgment. That's judgment. Yeah. That's judgment. Yeah. 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 We're not doing it. Uh, he's talking about the spice videos. Yeah, yeah. Where we at? Where we at? We got three seconds. Yeah, Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. O Lord, O Yahweh, I have heard thy speech mm-hmm. and was afraid. Mm-hmm. O Yahweh, revive the work. In the midst of the years, mm-hmm. in the midst of the years, make known in wrath, remember mercy. Mm-hmm. So there's two things that stuck out to me, that word speech, and we're speaking about a courtroom setting, so I look at the blue letter, and it comes out to a um, report and a hearing, mm-hmm. right? So a hearing is now, is, is now being, is being had, and Esau is basically the, uh, the, 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 the plaintiff is the defendant. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's on trial. Mm-hmm. He's all the courtroom sitting, and it says, um, "Remember mercy." So we we need that mercy, to, you know, because the Lord's been stopped, yeah. right? So to ask for mercy is saying that you were guilty of something. That's right. right? That's true. Right. Humility, mm-hmm. right? So I'm guilty, but but I ask for mercy, you know. <laughs> so, so so this is how we are in in, 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 a, in a righteous mindset to say, "Hey, man, you know, we went off. We did we did the, 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 the cruel, wicked things." Rise for mercy. Esau, on the other hand, right? He he he's proud man. He's proud. He's he's up in front right now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping around butt naked, you know. He's not spiritual. He thinks because he was already rejected that he can commit all wickedness yeah. and then get away. With it. And then on top of that, he thinks he's going to be able to get away with it and all smart from his heart. Because in past kingdoms, in the most the Esau knows. He looks at the scriptures. He looks through history. The most I did away with kingdoms. That's why he's going to hide under the ground. Because he thinks, okay, America is a patsy. It's a patsy for these, these elites. And that's a fall guy. So they're like, okay, let me just create a, you know, an infrastructure and, 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 and an empire to do all this wickedness. Accuse the brethren, which is Jake, of the ball of salvation is coming out of America. Let it be destroyed. We're going to hide and we're going to come out out of the, out of the ground and kind of rule the new world. It's not going to go that way. You thought you were smart by digging up the bunkers. Mm-hmm. And you're not that smart. You're not smart at all. Yeah, yeah. Be, because they have cities underneath. Even yeah. here in, Ontario, in the town of Ontario, they have like cities on the ground yeah. that they have. And the whole joke is the Most High is going to be with them to survive so that you can be a slave. Yeah. But in your mind, the pride and carnality, you think it's to survive and take over. Yeah. My brother posted something. We're a 30 foot space, uh, like single. Right. The stadium felt a single, like 30 feet down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You mentioned about pretty much we got to take our punishment. Yeah. The Lord will pretty much, he's going to 
punish the wicked. Yeah. He's going to punish us, but then he's going to punish the uh-huh. wicked. This is Micah 7 and 7 in the NLT. It says, As for me, I look to the Lord Yahweh for help. I wait confidently for the Most High to save me, and my power power will, will certainly hear me. Mm-hmm. They do not gloat over me, my enemies. For though I fall, I will rise again. Mm-hmm. Though I sit in darkness, the Lord Yahweh will be my light. Mm-hmm. I will be patient as the Lord Yahweh punishes me. For I have sinned against him. But after that, he will take up my case and give me justice oh, wow. for all I have suffered from my enemies. Wow. The Lord Yahweh will bring me into the light and I will see his righteousness. Then my enemies will see that the Lord is on my side. They will be ashamed, they that taunted me, saying, So where is the Lord? That power of yours. With my own eyes, I will see their downfall. They will be trampled like mud in the streets. Mm-hmm. That's going into she that is my enemy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's the best feeling yeah. of being in the street. Right? We're, we're all being punished. Right? But when we were when we were in the world, Sometimes you would blame God, right? And Jake has that mindset where they blame God for mm-hmm. for everything. Mm-hmm. When when you come to this truth, you understand that you blame yourself. That's how you correct yourself, right? In the world, Jake ain't blaming himself. Jake ain't looking inwardly. Mm-hmm. Everything we do, we look inwardly, which is that's a part of righteousness as well. Mm-hmm. That's a part of a righteous man falls seven times and get back up. Mm-hmm. Jake is always looking outwardly. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? Look what the white man did. Oh, look what these people did. Oh, look what they did. It's, like, it's a beautiful thing that we know our enemies are going to be destroyed, but we also know that our judgment is due to our our uh, our wickedness. Right? It's called accountability. Accountability. Self accountability. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Something that the world doesn't. Yeah. Right. Everybody likes to play the blame game. Even Esau. That's right. You know, when Esau gets pointed out to be the bad guy, he's blaming somebody else, right? And and the people follow after Esau, so they do the same thing, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're going to need that mindset right. when, yeah. for this final test, which is the RFID, because if you don't have that mindset, it's going to be easy for you to take it. To have that mindset, you have to know, okay, shit, they're threatening me with that? I don't care! So you have to have that mindset to where you don't care, because you're just like, nah, you guys, you guys are about to be destroyed. Mm-hmm. You're going to look at them and say, you know what? Yeah, kill me, do whatever. Mm-hmm. You're next. Exactly. So you're going to have to have that mindset. Right? Exactly. If you don't have that mindset, it's because you think this society is going to go is going to go on. Yeah. And sometimes that can trick you, right? Woe to them that go down to Egypt. You know? yeah. right? you, there's a lot of jigs with that mentality, mainly our women, right? So that's a woman mentality to have to think that this society is going to last. Right. It's a yeah. feminine mindset to have. Right? That's right. That's why the scripture says woe. Was destruction. Yes, it's right. destruction to you if you think right. that you're going to feel safe in this in this society, mm-hmm. right? But what the brother is reading is us being protected by the most high, not this society. Another quick precept. Uh, this is our Revelation chapter nine, verse twenty. And it says, "And the rest of the, of the men which were not killed by these plagues, they have repented not of the works of their hands." But we should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood. Hey, and that's what happened to that guy in the movie, Leave the World Behind. The black guy got shot. He thought he was he was plugged in. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He's just like, no, I'm good. Man, I got I got the back phone. Hello? Nobody's on the back phone. The white neighbor. Yeah, they never yeah. answered they never answered your call. That's right. And it says which neither can see, nor hear, nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. <clears throat> Just simply uh, bring this up because uh, you know, I think it was Brother Kazaf brought out a point about um, the, 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 the elites, which is Esau, who defended. You know, even after um, this case goes down, he's still going to defend himself and make it seem like he's the one that's innocent. He's not going to repent until the very end. Uh, he saw the cure for you tears. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's a bitch. He's right. Yeah. Even though all the evidence is against him, you know, the world is destroyed. You don't have a society anymore to rule over. The Lord came back. Prophecy was fulfilled, but you're still trying to trying to be the victim. Mm-hmm. Right? And then you're still trying to accuse on top of that. Mm-hmm. You know, so, so this it just shows how this guy's going to go down bitterly. Mm-hmm. He's going to fight to the very end. Right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. 
Well, well, guess, well, guess what? It's going to be fun in that time because at least then we'll be able to kill them. Right? Yeah, but yeah, now, yeah. Of course. Yeah. now you have to sit and you have to listen to your men, hear that talk, and know, just know they're lying through their teeth. <laughs> like what Fauci was doing the interview, saying, Oh, no, I didn't do anything. Oh, no, I never did anything. No, I never knew. No, I never knew. And that day we're going to be able to cut your head off, man. That's going to be, that's going to be a pleasure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When, they get, when they get plucked out of those uh, bunkers, you know, they're going to be talking shit. Yeah. No, no, no. It wasn't, wasn't like that. Yeah. It wasn't like that. You know, J- Jacob yeah, tricked us. Yeah. He tricked us. Yeah. Don't you remember? <laughs> in Genesis? Right. Da, 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 da. Okay. He said da, da, da. Is this the man? Is that right? Have to <laughs> 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 I'm a script. Mm-hmm. This is Psalms 12 and 2. They speak vanity, every one with his neighbor, with flattering lips. With a double heart, do they speak? Mm-hmm. The Lord Yahweh shall cut off all flattering lips with the tongue that speaketh proud things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Women do the most. Yeah. So mm-hmm. women, women talk. Mm-hmm. Right? To women gets never accountability, right? Mm-hmm. And when you have no power, sure. it hurts your spirit. That's why a lot of men get in domestic uh, um, violence situations with women. And a lot of us are in jail because mm-hmm. women just don't take accountability yeah. and they lie. Yeah. So in that day, all of that type of speech that we're used to, Done. That, Done. That, that literally, that's why that man killed Kill his, his wife yeah. under, on her 60th birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Because she was yapping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I can't take it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, hey, yeah. Yeah. I said, yeah. I said, it said Samson was back on the death. Get calm. Does that mean he didn't think about killing his woman? Absolutely not. He definitely thought about killing her, but he thought about the scriptures too. He's like, yo, maybe it's better if I die. Hey, you know, instead of her. That's murder suicide. happens a lot right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those yeah. Yeah. different things. <laughs> it's not like the guy. <laughs> The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Mm-hmm. Who have said with our tongue will we prevail? Our well, lips. And the tongues of them to laws, right? The, the, the decrees they made toward the earth. Mm-hmm. Right? So that's how the, that's the woman's power, like the pen part of the sword. Mm-hmm. Right? That's how they get down. Right. And all, right. Also, these people, you know, um, can you read that piece of begin to slap you out? It says, verse 4, who have said with our tongue, Will we prevail? Our lips are our own. Right. Assuming that the the, the economy is still intact. Most of like a lot of you, a lot of you, uh, especially you women, your pride is based upon the fact that the economy is still intact. Mm-hmm. Once this economy is done, that's what the Lord says. All that flattery shit is gonna be bullshit. <laughs> it's gonna be bullshit. There's no economy. There's no nine one one. There's no whatever you want to do. Shit. You ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna do shit. You know, you're just gonna have to listen or die. Done. That's it. That price is done. Death. Done. Done. Oh, male toxicity is going to be going on. We're going to be hella toxic. <laughs> <laughs> you think we're toxic now? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah go ahead. It says, uh, who is Lord over us for the oppression of the poor? That yeah, really toxic masculinity is what you see in jail. Yeah. Like those niggas, that's toxic masculinity. Right? Oh, so that's emotional popping each other. All of that, that's, that's demonic. Yeah. That's not how men are supposed to live. That's, right. that's yeah. demonic. Yeah. Well, well, they said that majority of boys, they grow up in single parent homes with their mother. There you go. Right. So, so that pretty much shows you what toxic yeah. masculinity yeah. like. Yeah. You yeah. never really even had a father figure to live. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's not even toxic masculinity, it's really feminine. It's rich, that's the It's real shit. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. For the oppression of the poor, for the sign of the needy, now will I arise, saith the Lord Yahweh. I will set him in a safety from him that puffeth at him. Mm-hmm. The words of the Lord Yahweh are pure words, mm-hmm. as silver tried in a furnace of the earth, mm-hmm. purified seven times. So these, these words are complete, man. Mm-hmm. Those words are pure. Right? Thou shalt keep them 
O Lord, Yahweh, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Yeah, which, which really and truly means that we don't have to prove nothing to the people. Right? Those words are secure, man. Gone. Like Esau, he just came out with the next study saying, oh, the, 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 the account of the angel killing a whole bunch of people is true. We don't need you to do all of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But we don't need all of that. Yeah. We believe. That's right. The wicked walk on every side, but the vilest men are exalted. Constant. I got a precept. This brother's going into flattery and, and speech. And this is Daniel chapter 11, uh, verse 21. And it says, And in his estate shall stand up a vile person. This is going into Antiochus IV. Right? Mm -hmm. It says, um, To whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom, but he shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flattery. Mm -hmm. Right? When we look up this word flattery in the Hebrew, the word means flattery, flattery, slipperiness, fine promises. And as a politician, man, fine promises. You know? Oh, I pledge here and then this amount of money and we're going to set up this community center and we're going to do this and this. Right? That's, that's a politician. I'm not telling these people that that's all debt. Right. Right? <laughs> all those programs that you're like, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, cool. I buy, um, what's it called? Sir. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. knowing that, that's going to fuck up your own economy. Yeah. 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 Psalms 2 and 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their brands asunder and cast away their force from us. He that sits in the heaven shall laugh. And that counsel that is talking about is written about the um, Psalms. What is that Psalms 83? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that counsel that they yeah. have all the time. Every single one of that, those counsels, they're having without you there. Mm -hmm. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are not a part of those councils. Council You're not a part of Burks. Yeah. Burks, Burks is, is making major moves. Yeah. Which one of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are a part of that? Mm -hmm. Council, Council, Council on Foreign Relations. Council yeah. on Foreign yeah. Relations. Yeah. Foreign yeah. Relations. Yeah. Not thinking about yeah. 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 The, uh, the one they had up there in um, mm -hmm. the, the Northern Europe. Uh, yeah. 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 And you know what? And, you know, this in, uh, recent, um, I guess, incline in, um, what do you call them, um, detention camps being built. Uh, you know? Yeah, we did a video on detention, detention camps being built. But it's really for you believers. Really. You know, the extras that want to def defy because of Christianity and Islam, they'll let them go. You're not, you're not, you're not moving on truth. There's another kind of thing that's true, but for us believers, that's what no, he's the king of the brethren. Mm -hmm. And sadly, for a lot of you brothers that want to watch your mouth and be making your videos, mm -hmm. the brothers are going to sit with your tongues, mm -hmm. they're going to they're get too passionate, they're going to say words that are illegal, mm -hmm. and the algorithm is going to pick it up, and yeah. then you're passing it down. Yeah. No, it's yeah. not passed yet. No, it's not passed yet. But when they pass that law, they say that they have certain anti Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. You say you're speaking against the Jains, you're done. Yeah. Yeah. You guys don't know that yet? So you gotta be very careful with your own self, right? That's right. You gotta protect yourself. That's right. Why is it serpents? That's why it says that. Yeah. Scoop you up in the night, put a black hood on your face on your head, right. take you in a van, right. now you're on a plane, that's right. Right. and you wake up in a jail cell and right. there's palm trees outside. Yeah. You're like, yo, I'm in Cuba. Yeah. You know? <laughs>
that made a lot of claims against that, that thing that was going on. And mass indoctrination where new people thought we got juiced up. Mm -hmm. right? So they can't have that when this thing comes around because this thing is synonymous with the Bible. Yeah. That thing before wasn't synonymous with the Bible. This is. Yeah. That's why they're just like, we have to know how we're going to do this. Mm -hmm. Because people are going to be able to link it up with the scriptures. Mm -hmm. right. That's why you have Israelite groups saying it has nothing to do with the scriptures mm -hmm. because they paid up. Mm -hmm. That's the number one thing to do right now is to try and take it away from the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Because when people see, oh, shit. That's what a lot of people do right now. Yeah, resistance. Yeah, resistance. He, he that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Mm -hmm. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his vex them in his sore displeasure. And that's another thing. He, the brother was mentioning the the, this, uh, the bunkers. Those bunkers are are made to protect the Edomites, but you have to understand that. You won't be in control of those missiles. Most sides. That's the most size anger. The most size anger is going to be all the nuclear missiles, man. Right? He's going to direct them and tell those things where to go. And they're going to hit exactly where they need to hit. You, you might say you're going to fire it in some specific areas. Right. And, no, no, the most high is going to line it up exactly where it needs to go, man. And the angels, too, are, are, are going to have their ships. They're going to be wreaking havoc. That's right, man. Uh, yet have I set my king upon the holy hill of Zion. I will declare the, the, the I will declare I will declare the decree the Lord has sent unto me. Thou art thou my son. This day have I begun. Ask for me, and I will and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Right, this this world belongs to Yahweh Shai. Uh -huh. So these bug out here in the world uh seeking to get self glory riding in on horses before Yahweh Shai gets his. Right? Yahweh Shai is sitting on the right hand of his father right now, waiting to come and claim the earth. It's already his. It's, 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 uh, prophecy has to play out. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Mm -hmm. Serve the Lord with fear and with joy with trembling. It is going to men. Uh, we're going to judge the earth. Sure. Right? We're also we're those men. And that's some, that's some, some person who, who believes that it's a Moabite, you know, damn cross-eyed, you know, bastards, you know? It's going to be the men of the Lord, but the saints. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, Moabites are not even allowed to come into the temple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so kiss the sun, lest, lest he be angry. Yeah, and that's just basically the remnant of Healing up the Al Bashir and Shah. That's right. Teaching the way Al Shah, making sure that when we teach the scriptures, we teach the access to the salvation of the Al Shah. That's right. Access. Because you got a lot of these um, Yah Israelites. Mm -hmm. When you say Yah, mm -hmm. and you know, when they go and they, they, when they pray, it's just directly to the most high. Like we're on that kind of level. Mm -hmm. When there's a spirit that was here on earth and was subject to the sin of the flesh and the Sin once, that's what the most high do. Yeah, but if you know the scriptures, you know that the most high's back is still turned. His back is still turned. Yeah. He's not dealing with nobody. That's right. He's dealing with one man. That's right. And that one man is on his right hand side right now. That's right. And he's the only one dealing with who the most high gave him. That's right. That's it. So kiss the son, lest he be angry and he perish from the way. Hey, that's why a lot of you people, so, so not to you up, but that's why you have a lot of these people who are atheists. Do you know why a lot of you men came to this truth? You came to this truth because the spirit is on you. The majority of people in the world don't have the spirit of the most high on them. Because the only people that have the spirit on them are going to be 144,000, right? And the one third. But the rest of the world, they don't have nothing on them. Right? Because the spirit of the most high turned his back. So everybody else right now has demons on them. Huh? Uh, 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 into the uh, the bunkers, the book of Amos nine verse two says, uh, "Though they creep into hell, then shall man hand take them." Hey, that's why what Conrad said is true. But the angels are going to be getting these. The angels are going to know where you guys are. The only people who they're not going to touch is going to be the elites because they need to be preserved. Sure. <laughs> 
But you work with people that have bunkers, you rich, you Kim Kardashians, you Kanye Wests. You know, we're going to bless you with your bunkers. Rick Ross said that he has a bunker that he's trying to build. I'm glad you're very different. Also, a side note says that when they did. When they dig into a hell, that touch right there, that hell is not split off, that shit went forever. It's means I'm like, So hell, if hell is a thing, why would people be digging to go there? Yeah, yeah why don't we just go find out? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. Go see what's going on. Ziggy Thirsty? Yeah. Don't yeah. fall in. Crack a little bit. Everybody has had near not everybody, the people who've had near death experiences don't come back with no testament of hell. Mm-hmm. Uh, they always even when it's a bugged up Edomite. Yeah. Even when it's a, a wicked ass Edomite, he'll come yeah. back and be like, Oh my gosh, it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nobody yeah. comes back and says, Yo, it was hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Search and take them out thence. Mm-hmm. And though they hit, though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, mm-hmm. thence will I command the serpent and he shall hey, And that's it. why a lot of people don't understand. Everybody's always just like, oh, why do they spend so much money on space programs and this yeah. and that? Because that money is not yours. That money belongs to bankers. They spend on what they want to spend. Mm-hmm. They just tell you people that, oh, yeah, this is budget for this, yeah. for that. Mm-hmm. No, that's their own money. Mm-hmm. They're taking care of themselves. Mm-hmm. And they're going out there and they're trying to build this and build See, that. They're building that for their own pleasure, mm-hmm. for their own safety. They're not thinking about people. <laughs> when, the, when they built the highway in America, that highway was built for the army. That's right. That was for the yeah. army. That wasn't built for the people. Yeah. Right? Those, those, a lot of the I this and I that were built during the time of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Right? So... When they found out that okay we're, we're not we're not going to go to war, they just said okay let the people use it because it's good for business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And actually, there's a difference between um, bunkers and dumps. Because dumps are deep underground military bases. So there's bunkers in this Kardashian and uh, so the Ross. Ross. <laughs> You're making you're just making bunkers. Yes. So you're, you're, but you're not making deep underground mm-hmm. military bases. You're not allowed to. Yeah, exactly. they, would, they, they would never give you the permit to do exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. They would never give you the permit to do it. And you don't have the machinery. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Well, when they, they melt the they, when, they, when you go into <laughs> these guys, these guys build their bunkers, the cities, they melt the rock until it's liquid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what we have. Well, they, they rent it out, but it's yeah. here in Toronto. They say in Toronto, we have some of the best dirt, but it's this thing. With that yeah. big spinner thing, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and that yeah. team dig yeah. up the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that yeah. thing, the ceiling turns it into water. It's oh man, yeah, it's crazy. Hard stone into yeah. water. Yeah. Yeah. Mush up stone. Yeah. yeah, it's true. But the elites have to approve that type of machine. Yep, exactly. You can't just yep. get that as a regular joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, I want to say, just like how, like, was remember the night it was cutting, you know, the wanted to. Yeah, yeah, Rick Ross on social media saying, I, I got water makers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can make water in there. Yeah. What's wrong with this guy? Yeah. 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 He's yeah. gonna make water from shit. Yeah, right. A lot of it. And the movies made with other people who made the bunkers. They never won. They never get it. Yeah, they never get it. Yeah. No, it was a small Edomites. Leave the world behind. Watch Friends. Eating Cheetos. Yeah, they were the Edomites. 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 Yeah, I got a precept. This is uh, Revelation chapter 6, verse uh, 13, and it says, And the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, 
He has a fig tree cast her untimely figs. When she is shaken of a mighty wind, and the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island removed out of their places, and the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman. Hey, just like Jamaica, the only people that are going to be delivered out of Jamaica is going to be the black. Right. Every one of you people in that bag are caught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you people that are born for your families now, that they're all going to be caught. That's true. Once those bombs hit, man, because so Russia, you have to understand exactly the Russians are over right there. there. Right, there. Mm-hmm. right there. So the Americans are going to have that, the missiles ready to go. Yeah. So over there, all the Caribbean, done. Okay, done. Back done. That great earthquake from the missiles. Tsunamis. 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 Just like um, and then. Um, on that Port Royal, right? I think they went the underground. I mean, they got a, got a, uh, what do you call it? They had a tsunami and an earthquake. So let's say if there's a tsunami, right? After that great destruction, right? all of Jamaica and certain parts of the Caribbean are going to be on the water. Cuba, Haiti. Scripture says that every island shall be on the This is a verse. Uh, 15, and it says, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Right, so we're, we're, we're reading it right here, Esau, your, your nobles, right, they're going to be hiding in, in, your, in your bunkers, you know, with your with your staff and your maids, your, your top military general who's giving, who, 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 who possesses the, the codes to launch missiles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, because you have to understand that they're the weakest people on the planet, the yes. Edomites. Because when it comes to war, they don't fight wars. Right? When we were ruling, kings would be on the on the front line. These Edomites don't do that. So when these you know who start the war, because all wars are you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. so when, exactly. So when the war, when the third war begins, they're gonna be chilling watching it just like they were yeah. watching something fall down in New York in yeah. that time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I was in New York that I think it was for, it was for the weekend, right? I was there for like a couple of days. They said you had some of them on lawn chairs, chilling. <laughs> lawn chairs. It's a good thing I, a good Yo, thing I left. That's a foreshadowing of the scriptures, man. Yeah, good thing you left. Huh? Yeah, I left because that was like 2001, right? Mm-hmm. And um, I went to school, I think it was on a Tuesday. It was probably around 9 that uh, the so called plane hit. So got plane that hit the Twin Towers. Yeah. Uh, there was one, and then I guess a couple hours later, there was another plane, supposedly. <laughs> and then after the damn towers, basically the uh, destruction came. Or sorry, like, not the destruction, but the towers. It, uh, fell down. it was yeah. collapsed. It was uh, yeah. like it was like a demolition. Yeah. yeah. So this is here, verse 16, Revelation 6, verse 16. And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come. And yeah, that be... wrath is written about in, uh, in the Apocrypha. What is that? Second Ezra chapter 13. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It says, uh, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? So they know who's coming back. That's right. To exactly. take things down. To do it. The stone that was cut out of our hands, that's the that shot. Mm-hmm. Coming to destroy and kill them. That's why they have their space army. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Satan and his angels. Yeah, that's right. And it tells you that he's going to be bloody. So, all you people that are preaching this weird <laughs> doctrine about him, you don't know nothing about this man. Uh, people that said he already came back. When? Who? This man is coming back and he's going to make a mark. He's going to be known as the top entity on the earth with his power other than Yahweh. Right? Because that power we're going to witness, we're going to be like, what the heck? Yeah. So the, the elect were um, afraid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, then, right. and then it says that he's coming back with the host of heaven. Right. Mm-hmm. He doesn't even need them. Then, uh, it really doesn't. Yeah. Really, when they take up the whole earth. But he's coming back with all the, the man. He's coming back with Michael. Yeah. 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 Michael is a, 
it's a man of war. So yeah. 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 What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 Yeah, if the Lord, the Lord, he, he, he wants to, he wants to show his power. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. So he's propping up like a, like a reading room in the night. Yeah. Or what he did to Pharaoh, he propped yeah. him up so he could show his strength. Yeah, that's yeah. what he's doing. Yeah. He's yeah. right now. Yeah. You know? right. But that's how you know that it's not just the missiles. Mm -hmm. It's going to be them. Because yes. they're going to make it surgical. Mm -hmm. Everything that they're going to destroy is going to be surgical, man. Right. Because they're going to be destroyed while saving. So right, that's going right, to be right, amazing. Right, 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 right. Because yeah, it says true, one true, shall be true. here, one shall yeah. be taken, one shall be left. But yeah. Yaakov is dead. That's right. It's yeah. not just yeah, that. It's true. Yeah, yeah. You said, yeah. I appreciate it. What? Amos 5 and 18 and Nano T. Because if someone's beside you and they don't have the Thawa, you have the Thawa, mm -hmm. he will come and probably kill a hundred people mm -hmm. right next to you. And you're, and you're just like there. Come on, y'all, watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the blood splatter on you. Yeah, on you. Because there is a blood splatter. Yeah, y'all, watch it. Yeah, you're shivering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Psalms 91 going into it. Well, you know Psalms 91, right? Yeah, you just said that. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and then the angels are already terrible, but we don't know what they're like. In war, like yes. time, yes. you just yes. know when they come back they and they're, chill, they just they're probably up. doing recognizances. Yeah. You know, they're just taking the reports that's going on over here. Right? Yeah. And we don't know what they are when they're in a, a military yeah. mindset. Right? Yes, right. Was it Hezekiah that prayed and had a he's like a hundred eighty-seven thousand men? One hundred eighty-five thousand. One angel. It's serious. Yeah, yeah. God. Yes, yeah. right. That's right. And he, was, and he was afraid. It said that when it happened, he prayed, him and I think it was Isaiah or Jeremiah. And he prayed, and he woke up in the morning, he just saw dead the bodies people. over his, his balcony. He saw dead bodies in smoke. Yeah. Trained military men. Yeah, yeah real. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Amos 5 and 18 and NOT says, What sorrow awaits you? Who, what, what sorrow awaits you to say, only the day of the Lord you have a shy were here. You have no idea what you are wishing for. Mm -hmm. That day will bring darkness, not light. Mm -hmm. Darkness, not light. And that day you will be like a man who runs from a lion, only to meet a bear. Escaping from the bear, he leans his pan against a wall in his house and is bitten by a snake. Wow. So I, I read that. I'm still not done. But um, Rick Ross, you mentioned Rick Ross, how he has the bunker. Like, he's not going to make it to the bunker. Uh, you're not going to make it to the so many other things are going to happen where you're not going to make it to the bunker. Yeah, you could be on a tour. You're not seeing it. Right? Like, somewhere. You could be on a tour. Right? You're not going to make it. Put a Molly girl's ring. Molly in. She ain't going to make it. She ain't going to make it. She ain't going to make it. Or where my snake might get it. Because you think you actually think you can hide how you're planning your own thing, he's not gonna get you. Like you're you're delusional. Yeah, you're, delusional. you're fucking delusional. That's insane. That's actually insanity. Yep. Yep. Fucking oh, crazy. Okay, so verse 20 says, Yes, the day of the Lord comes to the be dark and hopeless. Without a ray of joy and hope. And that's for everyone else so outside your life. Exactly. And, and the reason why we're praying for this day is everybody asks us as well. So when you know what we're gonna do, we pray for that day. Because it, at least you wicked people are going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. right. So don't yeah. worry about I don't care what happens to me. I'm just glad that this wicked society is going to be done. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to be happy just seeing you people get destroyed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about me. I don't care about me. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that all of this is done. I'm glad that the future is going to come to an end. I'm glad that bestiality is come to an end. And all the wicked things that people do. Mm -hmm. you know, here is done, like, man. No more dark weather. No more dark yeah. web, man. Don't worry about me. Because the only thing these people are living here to do is wickedness. You want life to go on for what? That's why when Lot's wife looked back, what are you looking back for? Exactly. It was only wickedness. It says, verse 21, I hate all your show and pretense, the hypocrisy of your religious festivals and solemn assemblies. Is that NLT? Yeah. That's not NLT. That's what they're doing right now. A lot of people don't understand. That's a religious festival. There are of the that community. Yeah. Right? They have a God named Happy, they have a God named Dafa named Dafa mm -hmm. Right? These are all different gods mm -hmm. of that place. Yes, yeah, true. You have the god of drunkenness and revelry. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I can't remember his name. Oh, Dionysus. 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 
That's what they're doing right now. So they're praising their their religious festival today. Maybe when you go to the religion, they actually have a high over there for every day of the year. They just don't tell you. You know, it's not. It doesn't just end with like uh, June. Exactly. Every month. It doesn't end with just June. They have every month. They got something going on. Sure. Says, I will not but sir, but that also pertains to a lot of you Israelites that are in the faith too. Because you, you Israelites that, that so called believe you're practicing the high holy days, but you're not doing it for good reasons. You're doing it under false pretenses. So you're gonna be judged for that, man. A lot of you there are, are, are practicing that for filthy lucre's sake. The only reason why you're there is because you can make a buck yeah, or two. That's, that's it. So that applies to Israel to know the name of the Lord and who are not serving him correctly. Right? Yeah. Wicked priests. Yep. The leader of uh, Sakari a few weeks ago, uh, he yeah, said to his congregation, you, you can uh, celebrate Memorial Day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 research. That's credible. That's credible. Nicolation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said Nicolation. <laughs> That's where you found it in yeah. research. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> verse 22, it says, I will not accept your burnt offerings mm-hmm. and grain offerings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I won't even notice all your choice peace offerings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Because like, even when that's happening with all the chaos, people are going to try to pray to the Most High and do all these, okay, I've got to do my sacrifice. Okay, make sure. Because before it used to work. Before it used to, you know, you do things, all this wicked shit, and things were happening for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? But now you're trying, he's like, no, nothing, nothing inside works. Man. Yeah. yeah, it works. Right? That should work. That's why the Lord said, you thought I was like you. You thought I was put together like you, all like yourself. Mm-hmm. You thought I was all together like yourself. Mm-hmm. You know? Just because I let you do your book and it's the left hand side, doesn't mean I'm not mm-hmm. like you. But it, but it just shows you, man, the law isn't going to just save you if you're not coming in the right spirit. Right. Because mm-hmm. all of those things, that's what the righteous the, the priests back then were doing. They were bringing forth the sacrifice. Right? right? So they, were, they, were in, they, they didn't have the right spirit behind that. Yeah. So they were practicing the law, but what spirit were you coming in? Exactly. Not going to save you. So it's your faith. Like I said, the, the Pharisees, they said, Moses said, all they, all that they did to you. Right. Right? But he said, don't do as they do. Exactly. He said, do as they say, because when they come to keep the law, but don't do as they do. Don't worry. Right. Because they're wicked. That's right. Don't lift the faith. It's just our guideline on this side, because even if you do it in the right spirit, you know, keep the law in the right spirit, you're still going on. You can't keep up the law. Right? So you gotta, you, you have to, you have to, when you're keeping the law, you gotta have to have a shine in mind, basically. You know? Because he, he did it in a way that was practical and was in obedience. You know? And he was a perfect uh, spirit in a, in a wicked body. So for us, we're not like that. We're not a, uh, you, you know, we are, you know, if we're of the elect, we do have a, you know, if we're of the elect, we are a perfect spirit in a wicked body. But you don't know if you're the elect. Mm-hmm. You still got to move in the way how shine caught. This is uh, June 1, 14, NLT. Mm-hmm. Enoch, who lived in the seventh generation, now the idol prophesied about these people. He said, listen, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is coming with countless thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment on the people of the world. Right, the seventh from Adam. Mm-hmm. Right, so he's prophesied. He was prophesying of, of, of the return of our Lord with the whole heaven and this You know? Yeah. The seven from Adam. So this is way back. Way back. Yeah. Yeah, right. He will convict every person of all the ungodly things mm-hmm. they have done and for all the insults that ungodly sinners have spoken against it. Mm-hmm. These people are grumblers and complainers living only. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Living only to satisfy their desires, they brag loudly about themselves, and they flatter others to get what they want. But you, my dear friends, must remember what the apostles of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, said. They told you that in the last times there would be scoffers whose purpose in life is to satisfy their ungodly desires. Exactly. And, and you, you, you see them now, if, you know, they come, in, come on some of their videos, they try to sway your mind they tell you things that hey sometimes you're just like you know what maybe mm-hmm. but then you do your study you find mm-hmm. out that they're talking shit but that's mm-hmm. their job their job is just to make you question yeah. question yeah. Yeah. question the whole side yeah. question mm-hmm. the, the really good word mm-hmm. that's, that's the job yeah. 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 Right? 
That's all that it is. Because a lot of these people, they use the scriptures. They you know, tweak it and use it in a way to where they make you question yourself. They let it stand on your foundation. Verse 19 says, These people are the ones who are creating divisions among you. You've got to be careful of division because division is something that, no matter in what way it's happening, mentally, emotionally, physically, is bad. Like just for a human being, like the brother, the elder brother, he's into health. So it's, he's always talking about whole, right? The body needs to be whole. Well, the mind needs to be whole as well. Right? So brothers can do that to themselves as well. Just Every day, always try to make sure that you're whole. You know, before you go to sleep at night, think about you know yourself, think about the truth. Reflect, meditate. Reflect, meditate. Make sure you're whole mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Right? If not, then pray or ask for this to pray for you, whatever it is. Right? We're all trying to be whole because we're being attacked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All of us, not yeah. one brother, we all, all of us. Yeah. We all are. We're all going to. There's yeah. not. One person that's doing better than another person in this truth because it's spiritual and the spiritual exactly. attacks that we can't see. Exactly. It says they follow their natural instincts because they do not have Yahweh's spirit in them. Yeah, that's what we're running away from. Following our natural spirit. Because it's easy to just go back to the old man, right? Or to follow your own mind. That's like, well, what do you think? I want to know what you think. Forget about the Bible for one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And you feel it. That's why I started the video. You know, brothers are getting a cold spirit on them. That cold spirit is for a reason. That cold spirit is to keep you single minded. It's not to be it's not to be disrespectful, but you need that cold spirit. That's why in that moment you eat, the man said when you feel the heat coming, you better be able to leave everything in 30 seconds. That's that cold spirit that you have to have. No attachments. You can't be attached to them. You have these things. Because as long as you're not abusing the world, you can shit. This is a war. It's only for people that are on the side that don't know how to use America. That's right. So a soldier has his off time where he can use pastime. He has a little time to himself, but most he's on a mission. Mm-hmm. He's taking orders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like that Edomite. Um, there's a TV show with him. Some big Edomite. He goes around kicking people's ass. Richard. 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 Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That's right. a good show. Because he, he just, he just walks Richard. to the back. He yeah. just has a knapsack. He travels all over the damn place. <laughs> he kicks people's ass. And, you know, the man don't give a damn, bro. Because he doesn't, he doesn't get attached to that. Since we're every can, we might don't give two shits. The Kung Fu, the Kung Fu, the Kung Fu. I was watching, um, uh, he's always moving, right? Brother, yeah. this morning, yeah. Yeah. from yeah. Mississippi yeah. came. Yeah. And he said, uh, it's nearly impossible. He said, you have to separate from your family. It's nearly impossible to be in the spirit when your family is around you. That yeah. one. Your, your woman, your children, yeah. your family, your yeah. family, impossible. Because you're caught up in the world at that point, in a yeah. sense, like, you know, my family, yeah. my kids, yeah. ah, I love my, you know? Yeah, it's a distraction. You know, it's like, yeah. Because they're good. They're they're natural, they're natural, they're natural yeah. inkling as a man is yeah. yeah. built. Right. You're yeah. a builder. That's just your right. natural inkling. Yeah. You want to build. Yeah. And who else to build for other than your offspring? That's yeah. a righteous That's spirit right. to be. Yeah. But it's hard because we can't be in that spirit because it's over there. It's like a time to lose. It's not over there. There's a time where it's like 10 years ago where brothers could be pressing. There's a pressure because the world itself is actually fading. The actual world is fading. And a lot of those women took the thing. So I can't, you can't trust her no more. If she took the thing, you can't trust her. Because we know that she's going to take the next thing. Mm-hmm. 10, 10 years ago. And if you don't, if you, you could argue medicinally that, oh, the kid can't take the thing. But they're going to say, if you don't give your kid that, that's child abuse. Mm-hmm. So they're going to take your kid. Like, what do you mean your kid doesn't have that thing? What? Mm-hmm. That's child abuse. Mm-hmm. 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 But you again, I just wanted to say yeah. that um, like yeah, we were saying 10 years ago, you know, we're probably spend more time. You know, I, I like it not to, you know, the alarm was going off, 
and he kept hitting snooze. He right? so another time he hit the snooze. That alarm was going off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but I'm saying, but I'm saying, like throughout the years, mm-hmm. even go back 50 years ago, there was no order. You have to do a video, mm-hmm. one video a week. Mm-hmm. You just did it in the spirit. Mm-hmm. You just mm-hmm. did things, and then as the years went by, the apostles got the orders from the Al Rashid Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. 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 Verse 7, uh, it says, about what I'm saying, 
the Lord will help you understand all these things. So with that, we're going to close up with that. And we give all praises on the Lord.